Hello, everybody. We're just waiting for people to come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Hello, Don, and welcome. We want to thank everybody that's joining us. You know, on Mondays, we do our fan ch chat. Or, hi, Chris, or we do interviews. Tonight, we're going to have Mr. Lee Walker with us, uh, Mesquite, Texas. Hello. Mr. Lee Walker is going to join us tonight. And uh, as soon as I see him on the live, we're going to bring him on in. Hey, Camila. Hope it, Jaleel. Hey, good to see you. Hope everybody's had a great day. While we're waiting for Mr. Walker to get here, uh, we just want to say that we're still praying for everybody that's in the path of storms uh, recent and uh, storms that are still out on the ocean brewing. But we want you to yet trust God and yet know that he is still with you. Carolyn from Nashville, hello. Um, also want to ask you to keep Pastor JT in your prayers. He's still fighting this cough. Uh, we think he's on his way to the doctor to get that taken care of. We talked to him earlier, and that was the plan. But we want to keep him covered in prayer and hope that he will get rid of that cough very soon. Trinity, hey, hey, how you doing? We're still waiting for Mr. Walker to get here. As soon as I see him pop up on the live, we're going to invite him to the broadcast, Mr. Lee Walker, of Lee Walker and Spirit, who is one of our more renowned quartet groups. If you haven't heard him, then you certainly need to. Also, while we're waiting on him, I want to address the post that I put up about the fake pages or, or fake inboxes. I put a picture up of what you will be getting. It is not me. I know nothing about it. I don't have anything to do with it. Um... I think we've addressed it time and time again. But it's just, you know, one of the fallbacks of social media that people can take your pictures and do what they want with it. And there's really no way to to put a complete stop to it. But just know that if we ask of anything, it would be from this page and this page only. We don't inbox anybody for donations. We That's just not how we do it. Um, we don't ask people to send money to Nigeria. We want to help in our own backyards first. So please take heed to it. Um, if you get an inbox, it's not me. I, I don't know anything about it. I don't have anything to do about it with it. And... You know, it's just, it is what it is right now. But we have tried to be diligent in letting you know that, um, letting you know about what scams are out there, what tricks people are pulling um, to let you know that it's not us. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Eleanor. So, you know, we try to address it. We try to post it. And we try to catch it. But we can only do so much. And we're still waiting on Mr. Lee Walker to show up. And as soon as he pops up on the live, we're going to get him on in here. But they're a quartet group out of the Virginia area. So we're anxious to talk to him and see what they have going on. In the meantime, um, coming up next month is um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We want to start a little early. Making sure, women, you go get yourselves checked. Men, go get yourselves checked as well. Because men can get breast cancer just like women. More famous, Richard Roundtree is a breast cancer survivor. So, um, so make sure that women get yourself checked. Take your husbands, your sons, your son-in-laws, uncles, whoever. Take them and get them checked as well. And we're going to be posting more information about breast cancer and breast cancer mm -hmm. awareness um, as 
it comes up. And Mr. Walker uh, just sent me a message. So let me see. Um, if we can get him on. You know, we had trouble when we tried to do this with Sam on uh, a couple weeks ago. Sam from Sweden. And we're still trying to get him back. Camilla, we glad you went last week. Hope everything comes out okay, as we're sure it will. And I see Mr. Lee Walker's popped up. Mr. Lee, if you would say hello or something so I can find you. And we will get him on. Lee, just try, type hello in the comments. There he is, Mr. Lee Walker, and we're finna bring him to our live. And we're waiting to accept. Hey! Hey, praise God. How you doing? Fine. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm blessed. Thank you for joining us tonight. Amen. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. This is Mr. Lee Walker of Lee Walker and Spirit Amen. out of Virginia. What yeah. part of Virginia? Lynch. We um well we uh we're from actually Richmond, Virginia. Um, okay. but um we're having our event in Lynchburg. Um, but we're kind of spread out a little bit. But my my basic home is Richmond. Okay, tell us about. Lee Walker and Spirit. How did it start? Well, it started actually. Um, we we country boys from a place called Farmville, Virginia. And my mom was a piano player. And my dad was a drummer, and they both sung. So, wasn't really cable back then. So we all just used to sing all the time in church and around the house. And we just picked up the gifts, and it started there, and then it just grew into what it is today. So you were one of those kids who went to church on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, everything that was going on at church, you had to go? Yeah, we went to church so much that uh, by the time you, the end of the week came, we knew the song because we did it so much, you know, <laughs> because back then everybody went to church all the time. There were programs at seven o'clock in the evening. I mean, they just went all the time. We went all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so... With your with your mother being a piano player, and so you've always been around music. Do you play instruments? I do. I play piano. I uh, play a little bit of bass, a little bit of guitar, a little bit of drums. Uh, but I guess my strongest instrument is piano. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Um, when it comes to your music, what uh, message do you want your music to convey? Well, what I would like to do is I would like to speak for people, you know, um, in the lyrics that I write, I try to make sure I speak to other people's uh, problems and speak to other people's victories as well. Give hope And the key word is hope to those that are losing hope, you know, and um, that's what I try to do. And I also try to go outside of the Christian base and try to reach people of all kinds, of all ills, and, and because, you know, sometimes we can get so caught up into preaching or to pre to the choir where you got a dying world out here and people stay to commit suicide. So I think, you know, as we as artists should focus on actually uh, reaching everyone and not just the church, but people outside of the church to give them hope, you know? As long right. as you got hope, you can make it, right? Right. Hello from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And for everybody that's just joining us, we're talking to Mr. Lee Walker of Lee Walker and Spirit out Amen. of Virginia. Um, quartet that's doing amazing things. What music has influenced you or what musical artists? Well, um, I got to start off with the old school. Um, the king of gospel, Reverend James Cleveland. Um, the feeling that he had and uh, that he gave you, um, it starts with him and Pastor Caesar. And then uh, quartet wise, you know, some of the greats, Dixie Humminbirds, Willie Neal Johnson and gospel keynotes, um, you know, 
today's uh, artist, Kirk Franklin, uh, Donna McKirkland. Um, it's so many uh, great artists out here, and, and there's a lot of great independent artists, you know, that I enjoy mm -hmm. listening to um, today. You know, it's just all about the message, you know. Right. And that's a wide range from, from old school, traditional, to quartet, to contemporary. So is that kind of what your music is? It's not, you can't fit it. You know, some artists you can kind of fit into one category. Right. Do you kind of, can you go to more than one category? Yes. Um, I thank the Lord that he blessed us to be able to have several different styles of music. And when I look at recording a CD, I try to, you know, fit everyone's taste because um, not everybody likes the same kind. I, li I love to mix in praise and worship. But then I like the old school hard driving quartet. Then I like a little contemporary. Then I have what you call an out of the box song. Again, we're trying to approach and pitch to a dying world out here. So if one style don't bring them in, maybe another kind of will, you know? That's so I think true. we have to be flexible. That's true. That's true. How long has the group been together? Well, the group's been together since 1999. I love my guys. They're awesome. Um, we have ministers in this group. Um, we've toured um, a lot of different places, you know. Um, we've been featured, blessed, thank God, to be on the Bell Report several times. My good friend Sheila Bell, and we were able to do her event. And, and we've been building every year. The Lord has allowed us to continue building on our ministry every year because we understand that it's about one thing, about getting people hope and spreading the word of Jesus Christ through love. So, uh, you know, I, I'm very blessed, very blessed. Um, what do you think about quartet or the music industry as a whole right now? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I think the biggest thing with quartet is lack of a business plan and lack of business. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with quartet. Gospel music, there are people uh, that have found the, to do it the right way. I think some of it is, is a little bit dealing with people not being in church the way they're supposed to and looking mm -hmm. more at it as, as a profession instead of a ministry. Um, but I think the problem with us quartets is that we can't collaborate and bless each other. Some people will find a door to go through, but they won't take nobody with them. And some, not all, of the people who could take people with them through so that everybody can be blessed. They keep some of those doors closed for personal reasons so that they will stay on top. Honestly speaking, I hate to say it that way, but that's the way it is sometimes, you know? But thank that's God. Because back, mm -hmm. back in the old days, you know, they used to get together as groups and travel together. Right. Uh, and do tours together. Right. Uh, in the same bus or, or load up the cars or oh, whatever. Uh, yes, yes. You don't see that anymore. You know, it's rare uh, that you you know, in the 80s, do you remember the Battle of the Giants tours that was going together? Yes. And I yes. believe one of the founders of it was from New York, Big Dan from out of New York. Him and him and a, a lot of the mines going all the way down through the South came together and they put together the Battle of the Giants and they cared and they all would just do like you had just said. And it was a great thing back then. And um, we've lost track track of that today. We really have. Yeah. Somebody just asked a question. How do you get the younger generation interested? Hmm. I think oh. that's a question we have all the time, whether it's quartet music, contemporary music. How do you get the younger people <laughs> interested? Okay. I, I do believe I have an answer for this question. I, I'm glad. Thank you for asking that question, whoever has asked it. This is what we need to do. We need to understand tradition changes. 
we cannot get too caught up into tradition that we don't see what's going on today. I think it's a lot with churches as well, too. If we if churches get too stuck in tradition instead of understanding how to adjust to the culture, then sometimes you can leave people behind. You know, I give you a perfect example, Silver and Gold. When remember when Silver and Gold first came over Kurt Franklin, that song was considered to be a contemporary song. Now today, it is a traditional song in some circles, you know, so the styles fluctuate and the styles change. So we ha as artists have to be able to understand, stay who we are, but understand what people are asking for to reach the next generation. And you're fairly um, a young group. Uh-huh. <laughs> I try yes. to tell nobody's age, but <laughs> oh, I'm I'm 41. I'm a, I'm a healthy, praise God, 41. <laughs> How many members are in the band? It's about or in the group. Well, it's about six of us. Um, and uh, I think the oldest guy in the group is Pastor. Is my pastor? He's I want to say almost close to 50. About two years off, we average between thirty to fifty. But I just thank God that He see our ministry appealing to allow younger guys to come and be part of it. And I love what they bring to the table because they can give me what a lot of young folks are listening to today. Their opinions really play a vital role into helping us understand what direction we want to go in. You know. Now, I got to give a plug to probably one of my favorite people. Okay. Uh, and I think he's related to you. Okay. Jaleel? Jaleel, yes. <laughs> Jaleel Brown. I call Jaleel the architect. He's Jaleel is very disciplined and he's very, um, he, he makes sure every detail is correct, you know. Um, he's a great guy to be around. I learned a lot from him, and um, he has taught me a lot. And, you know, working with him, he's a great guy to be around. And he's going to tell you how he feels, you know. And it, it's just, we, we click, it's a great chemistry. And uh, you, as you know, you know, he'll tell you what's on his mind, but he's a mind in the industry today. I call him the architect. The thing about it, I think a lot of groups, especially younger groups now, they're so focused on the music and, and nothing wrong with the music. I'm not saying that. Amen. But they're so focused on getting on somebody's stage, they don't take time to really learn the business side of it. Amen. Because that's where you get messed up. Yes. It's on the business side. You know, yes. not having your copyrighted, not having it registered and all of these things and getting, you know, and I know in your years of singing, you probably come across it, you know, promoter don't have all the money, then you got some issues there, but you don't have a contract in hand either, so. There you go. <laughs> we we have had to learn the hard way, but I'd like to touch on something that you had just said. Uh -huh. I, think, I think there's a movement now um, led by Lachelle Lala Crump, and um, Jalil and a couple of the minds there are coming together because we're now shedding a light on understanding the business of gospel, you know. And I think everyone um, has to sit down and understand that, you know, it's great to be talented and it's great to be able to sing. But if you don't have any business or understand the business and understand what branding is, pop a brand and, and and it, it's not like you can just jump out here and do it. it two, or two one or two things are going to happen. Either you're going to stay stagnant or you're going to get used by somebody that's going to take advantage of you. So I just like to encourage everybody to really understand that you have got to educate yourself about the business. I hear story after story after story. It would be scary to know how many millions of dollars have been spent that people have paid out of their personal um, um, their personal bank accounts, getting their ministries off the ground because somebody said they'll do something and then it doesn't happen. 
you know, and that's not good. Right. And, and I think if, if they took the time to understand how to brand themselves and apply those resources the right way, then their ministry could have went a lot further. So, and you know, that, that's why we hear of artists, whether gospel or secular, uh -huh. you know, being in the industry for years and then winding up broke at the end of the day. Amen. Amen. You know, that's, I, I, you know, we understand ministry. We do. Right. But I also understand when you're on the road traveling and things like that, that, you know, it takes finances. And uh, when you go somewhere and you, you're kind of, you know, expecting one thing and it's something else and you got to come out your pocket to cover yourself to get back home and things like that. But you think of artists that start started back, say, in the in the 50s and 60s that didn't know this. And at the end of the day, when they die, they don't have a penny to their name. And that's well, a sad thing. That's why I thank God for Dr. Henry Harris. I thank God for Kevin James, Lachelle Crump, Tanya Perry, Jaleel Brown, because they are teaching and preaching and saying one thing. In order to be able to add value to your ministry, you have got to understand that you got to have a plan. And I think it's because of a lack of a plan that a lot of groups fall by the wayside because, yeah, they, they pay the resources, but they put it in, you know, places that maybe it's not needed. And I think most of the time we have got to have a plan, you know. Uh, uh, Alton Hollis is calling you out. <laughs> All right. He said you won't sign an autograph for him. <laughs> <laughs> Alton Hollis is one of my favorite, all-time favorite guitar players. Yeah. He's a great yeah. guy, and we we we're, we're together a lot now, and I, I'm learning from him too. I'm learning a lot from him too. He's a he's he's something he's something else. He's something else. Matthew Johnson said, you won't sign one for him either. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask him, do he want that in crayon or does he, I mean, uh, how does he want it? I, <laughs> I, I will take care of it, guys. I'll make sure I sign that. Matter of fact, Matthew Johnson sings with me, so that's why he's going in like on me like that. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you did a program. Uh, you did a program this past weekend, uh -huh. and this is what caught my attention about that program. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a benefit for someone who was fighting cancer, breast cancer. Right, right. Um, we are. It's, it's, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, um, we are certainly, certainly involved in our community. Um, breast cancer is something that I take very seriously. It's something that has touched everybody. And Lee Walker and Spirit, part of our purpose is to make sure we do community events, to make sure we cover um, a lot of things to help the community, not just cancer, but autism. I'm about to do a walk for autism because I know somebody that have been touched with someone with autism, you know? So, you know, if we gospel singers or choir if we feel like it's just all about singing in church, going home, no, no, we've got to do more. And that's what I told my guys, and we are behind it. We even ordered pink T-shirts, you know, um, that we wear just representing a lot of, of our fans and, and the people who support us. Um, they reach out to me personally and let me know their personal story. You know, what they're going through, some come out of chemo, some on their way to chemo. And, you know, um, and I hear great testimonies all the time. And it's so fulfilling to be able to have a purpose. And I appreciate what you're doing, bringing awareness to uh, breast cancer, to autism, those types of things. One thing I do want to say about breast cancer, I said it a little bit before you came on. When it comes to breast cancer, we often think about women. Right. But Men get breast cancer, too. Uh, so we want the men to take care of themselves and get checked. Richard Roundtree is, is you know, a survivor of breast cancer. Um, Good friend starting of Starting next month, we'll be, we, okay, we're going to be posting some stuff about um, 
breast cancer in men. We have men that have had to have double mastectomies because of breast cancer. So I applaud what you're doing in that arena. I do ask that you also stress men. <laughs> you know, we no. want our men to care of themselves. And I know it's a hard thing. I'm not going, you know, that's a woman thing. It's not. Men, we don't hear about it a lot, but men do die from breast cancer as well. So we want our husbands around. We want our sons around, grandpas, uncles. So just as you go to the doctor and get anything else checked, please go get yourself checked for that as well. Amen. Now, Mr. Lee Walker. Yes, ma'am. Um, where do you where do you get the influences for your songs? Do you write or you know, met guys in the group write? Where do the influence come from your music? Um, it, I do a lot of the writing, but it's kind of a collaborative effort on with some of the guys. Some of the guys come to me with ideas. Um, I I get my ideas for a song. Just it starts with a vision, what I want to say. I want to be able to express myself and I want to be able to speak about something really clear so that people can understand that, hey, not only am I singing this to you, I've been through it with you. And, um, you know, it could be listening to a sermon. Um, it could be I can hear somebody say something, you know, or it could be just in meditation, through my prayer, you know, or reading the word, you know, and uh, God will give me an idea. This is what I want you to say. But I always look at it from the point of view of, you know, um, that it, it, is, it starts out with an expression, you know, because you have many, many uh, different ways when it comes to a song. You can have a song that speaks of a biblical fact. Then you can have a song that speaks of a life journey, realistic. Um, then you can have, there's many ways to go about it, but as long as a message, you can do the right thing in many ways. As long as the key word is the message is strong. As long as the message is strong, then it will have an effect, you know, some positive, some maybe negative, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. Where do you yeah. see Lee Walker and spirit in the future? I get asked this question a lot, and I thank you for asking me. Um, I see us really standing on the front lines, helping our fellow uh, man and woman through community events and as well in the business of understanding gospel and encouraging people, saying, hey, you can do this. You just got to have your business straight. I look forward to recording many, many more records. And um, I look forward to meeting new people. And uh, it just traveling, I love to travel. I love to travel. I, I, <laughs> I, some people don't like to travel, but I love to travel. And I just enjoy going places for the first time. And I, there's a lot of places we haven't been. Uh, Cleveland. Uh <laughs> 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 uh, Detroit, uh, well, you know, hey, but uh, I got some good friends. Have you been to South Carolina? Yeah, um, we've done several things uh, with Minister Ricky McDuffie and the family down okay. there, and yeah. um, that has been a blessing to us, and uh, we've done TV shows down in the Carolinas, and I think we the whole month of August we were in the Carolinas, so we were very blessed and fortunate to do that. But one of my favorite places is New York, because New York ain't nothing but full of country people. So, <laughs> somebody is asking a question: How old were you when you started in gospel? I was eight years old. The first hey. pro, yes, the first professional group I ever seen in my life was Willie Nell Johnson and the Gospel Keynotes, and he happened to have Paul, Robert, and Charles with him on that wow. one time. Wow. So when I seen that, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I want to do this. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you know, and, uh, but um, I started at a very, very young age and um, I go back to my mother, you know, my mother had an old broke down piano and she showed me two chords. 
And I thought I was manipulating her by playing those two chords because I knew if I started playing those two chords, she'll break out a song and she'll get in a good mood and I can go out with the guys, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, it just goes back to her and her teaching. And uh, if I start singing a song, if I start to sing off, she said, oh, sing it off, do it again. And I just thank God for her <laughs> investing in me. Um, now, I know you have a uh, or an event coming up in right. November. Right. Black Friday. Black Friday. You've got the Swanee Quintet, Sean Jones and the Believers, um, Brothers in Unity. Tell us a little bit about that event. Well, we're so excited. We had we we just go over to my page. We have um, hotel information. We made the tickets very reasonable because we want to share this event with everyone who loves gospel. And um, it, it, it took off two years ago, and it's been a, a great success thus far. Um, we we're bringing together some of the most prolific singers. I've ever been able to run across, and we have a lot more that we're still going to get to later on down the line. But we put together, you know, with the help of Jaleel Brown and Becky Canada, uh, put together a great concert, and we bringing in Lachelle Lala Crump, and we're bringing in Cavell Phillips, um, and uh, I'm excited about that. But guess what? We talked about the business of gospel, right? The mm -hmm. very next day after our Black Friday bash, we are going to have a panel discussion and showcase where we're going to work and talk about the business of gospel. And some of the greatest minds in gospel are coming to Lynchburg, Virginia for the panel discussion. And that's being led by Lachelle Lala Crump. So y'all just go to her page. She got details to it. And I've never seen some, uh, someone so steadfast on making sure independent artists matter. And I'm excited about Pastor Sean Jones. He's one of my favorite singers. I got to be a little honest. It's kind of skewed a little bit because I love, you know, the Swannies and I love <laughs> Pastor Jones. And so I kind of wanted to hear him too. But, I mean, we, we asked <laughs> We asked everybody who do they want to hear. They told us they made it very clear, and we put it together. And I'm telling you, I hope and pray that you can come. You know, we would love to introduce you, our good friend, you know, for everything that you're doing for gospel today. Well, thank you. You know, the Swannies are, are you know, I, I, I can't say hometown, but they're, like, right down the street. So right. they're close enough. <laughs> well, you know, um, uh -huh. in, our, in our discussion, what we wanted to do, and I, I, I want to tell y'all, we, there's a method to the madness. We got the traditional group, which is Swanee mm -hmm. Quintet. We got a mm -hmm. new group, Pastor Sean Jones and the Believers. And we have right. another group, Burkett Laybourne and the All Together Gospel Singers. They just recorded a, a, a new CD. And we want to introduce some indies to everybody. You know, David Scott, um, he's a talent. Um, we want to introduce, we want, if you, if you got a ticket, we want to do a lot, a lot of things. One thing we want to do, we want to introduce you to different genres. Bimichi Hicks is a, more of a choir guy. Um, we want to introduce you to more genres. We want to introduce new talent. You know, we want to introduce, um, you know, a new styles and just a whole right. plethora of uh, talent. You know, I'm so excited about it. Y'all got to come out to it. I'm gonna shake everybody's hand, and I'm gonna sign as many autographs as needed to be that <laughs> needs to be signed. I promise. <laughs> well, there you have it. You can go to Lee Walker, um, go to his page, go to Lala Crump's page about the Black Friday event, hotel accommodations, directions, events, uh, venues and get all the information you need. If you can't find it, if you get in touch with me, I'll make sure that you are directed to the right people. That's um, right. That's right. Please, please go to the Lee Walking Spirit fan page, you know, um, event page as well. We would be honored to have each and every one of you out there. We want to thank you for spending some time with us, but 
we have a request, one, for you to sing. Okay. <laughs> and before you go, give us your booking and contact information. All right. Okay. Um, this is a song for a rainy day. I heard a song that said a storm can't last always. And from experience, I found out this to be true for the battle is not yours, but he is the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Now, what's, what's your contact and booking information? Okay. Um, you can contact Michael Ford on Facebook. We are on all in every social media circle, we're on Twitter, um, Facebook, we're on um, Instagram. You can just e email us um, from the Lee Walking Spirit page or reach out to a guy by the name of Michael Ford or Becky Blady C. Canada. Um, Jaleel Brown, Michael Ford's number is 804-549-8413, I do believe. But um, just look up Michael Ford or inbox me. I give you all my number. My number is 804-937-2846. 804-937-2846. Now, I want to say this, too. If you don't want to book me and you need somebody to listen to what's going on or you need me to pray with you, I am a Christian first before a singer. May the works I've done speak for me. I don't want to stand before God one day and say, you sung all over the world. You done this, you, you done that. But when somebody called you and needed prayer, you didn't yes. answer your phone. So we as Christians got to remember and understand that we have got to be there. Our number one job is to bring people to the cross. And the way you do it is through love, prayer, and faith. Ain't that right? That's right. You couldn't have ended it any better way, no better way. And I think that's what we as artists, as DJs, as radio hosts, whatever arena we may be in, that Amen. is about God first. And Amen. everything else falls into place after Amen. that. Amen. We're so glad. We're so glad that you spent this time with us. And don't forget, their event is November the 24th, Lynchburg, Virginia, Black Friday. Make Amen. sure you go to their page. And uh, if, you, if you're not going to attend the event, keep them in prayer. Go to their pages, like their pages, uh, social media. We'll post all of that information. We'll even Amen. post their contact information Thank a little you. bit later on after the video. Thank you. But for those of you that have joined us from all over the United States, we want to say, somebody says, sing, sing it. Uh, what is it? Singing for Jesus? Running for Jesus. <laughs> I'm oh, trying to read oh, now, 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 I can go to old school. <laughs> I've been running for Jesus a mighty long time. I ain't tired yet. Day and night, I've been running for him. I ain't tired yet. Singing, oh, no, I'm not tired yet. I'm, I'm not tired yet. I'm not tired yet. Thank you. I, I want to uh, go ahead. Before we go, there is something mm -hmm. else I want to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we're going to back up just a little bit. I know we said we was at the end, but this just popped in my mind. Take your time. How do you keep family balanced? Because I know a lot of musicians, artists, when they go on the road and they're traveling a lot, Something suffers. Right. How do you balance family and music and family and, you know, traveling all the time? Well, what you have to do is keep communication open. Make sure mm -hmm. that, you know, you spend those special moments with your children, your wife. Make sure that um, you remember birthdays and make sure you, <laughs> you beat them to the punch when it comes to things and Make sure you be, um, you surprise them, you know, um, surprise them sometime, you know. And mm -hmm. of course, if you do have a weekend off, you better get your <laughs> tail to that game or, you know, and um, just be a dad. Be a dad, be a, be a father. Let them know that Jesus 
Jesus loves them. Let them know that you got to have a relationship with Christ. And more so, you know, I'm glad you brought this question up. We've got to let them understand. They have to understand that it's a ministry. And that you're not necessarily called because this is something that you want to do, but you're called because this is something that God has called you to do. You know, and let them understand that you can't stay stagnant either. God's going to have something for you to do one day as well. You know, so like daddy is doing, God's going to have you doing something too. You know, you have just as much worth with your gift as daddy has with his gift, you know. And I think it's about as honest as I can make it. And sometimes you're going to miss those birthday parties. Sometimes you're going to miss. But at the end of the day, you you can understand and know that what you do for Christ will last. Right. What you do for right. Christ will certainly last. Right. Again, we want to thank you because they're going to make you do a full concert after the <laughs> Oh, I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. <laughs> but we do want to thank you. And, you know, he made a good point. We give our kids so much, but do we give them Jesus? You know, uh, so we have to think about what are we giving to our children? What ministries are we giving to them? What legacies are we leaving for them? And we want to applaud you, uh, you and Spirit, and what you're doing. Um music wise what you're doing in the community thank and you. we wish you much much success and many blessings thank you. and uh again thank you for everybody that joined us tonight of course the video will be on the page the interview will run later this week on the radio station faithexpressions.net so you can catch it at any time anytime anytime and, <laughs> and i just i just love to t i just want to tell you that i am an avid follower of, of, of your ministry and I just want to thank God for giving you the vision that you have for being such a blessing to us the Ray Burnett's of the world Lee Walker's of the world you know for being that shining light for us and I thank God for what you're doing because without the platform that you have many of us wouldn't be seen or would they wouldn't know us you know a lot of speakers Thank you so much for what you do. And I'm, I'm going to be praying for you that God will continue to favor what you do. Thank you. Thank you. And again, My thank friend. you so much. And we'll be talking to you soon. Don't forget, November 24th, Black Friday, Lynchburg, Virginia. We're going to get you that information. Look yeah. for their CDs on Amazon, all digital Everywhere. outlets. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Don't y'all be a stranger now. <laughs> and don't be bootlegging nothing. Don't be right. bootlegging. Go back. <laughs> hey, and if y'all come to Virginia, y'all remember y'all boys in Virginia. Come stop, stop off and see us. <laughs> <laughs> but we have videos of them on the page if you want to go see some Amen. videos of them. And we'll be posting more. Again, we thank you and we wish you safe travels wherever you go. Amen. And uh, yeah. We'll be talking to you very soon. Amen. On behalf of LWS management team, myself, thank you. And thank you all. Thank you for supporting this wonderful woman of God. And if it wasn't for you all, it wouldn't be on us, right? So thank That's you right. all. Let's stay together. Let's stay as one. Let's stay unified. Let's get the business going. And let's let God shine and rain on and bless our lives. Amen. Amen. Well, you have a good night. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah.